Hey everybody, welcome back to Aquatico. I just discovered something, and it's uh, it's pretty sweet. It's the thing I've been trying to figure out is how to connect domes, okay? And, uh, okay, I was gonna start things off. I'm not gonna bury the lead at all, all right? First thing we're gonna do is we're going to demolish this. We actually don't need it. Now, I went ahead and got research done to get to the medium domes. And the medium domes are what we need to do this. So I'm going to real quick sell some batteries because I don't need this many batteries. I need some extra cash. I'm actually low on money. So I'm going to sell a bunch of batteries and I have to wait for the ship actually because I already have a trade pending. So we're going to wait. But yeah, okay. We just got the credit. So check this out. Medium dome is actually four small domes. All right, and I, this is what I wanted. I wanted this T-shaped thing over top of the entire colony like this. But I, obviously I can't do that because that dome is in the way now, but that's what I wanted right there. It's super cool looking. So what I can do instead, I'm hoping, yeah, I could do something like this instead. And I can't get too close to that dome, unfortunately. So it's not gonna be quite lined up, but I could do something like this. And this gives me what I want. Or, I'm really tempted to do this, although I think it's going to cost me way too many credits. I'm tempted to go ahead and see if it'll let me demolish this. Uh, and it looks like I can't be demolished if there are buildings inside at first to demolish the buildings. So if I demolish the buildings and then move the center dome here, then I get my four connected domes, which is super cool. That's what I wanted. Uh, so now that I know that that's how that works, um, if I ever play this again, after like a, if there's like a content reset or something, if I ever play this again, that's what I need to do. That's for sure what I need to do. Um, so I either need to go on this side or this side. I think I'm going to go on this side over here. This thing is enormous and it's going to have four, four small domes. I can't, I, I bet the big dome. Um, let me space it. It doubles the size of the medium sized dome. What? Doubles the medium size. Oh my god. Okay, so we're we're gonna be able to get much, much bigger here, basically, is what you're saying. Alright, so I can do something like this. I I just really want it here though. That's the thing. Like, I just really want this here. Can we do this? Can we just tear it down? Do you think people will care? Alright, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna tear this stuff down. I got 148 clothes. That's pretty good. We're gonna tear this stuff down, okay? I got three empty houses. One, two, three. Now there's no empty houses, okay? People are gonna start hating me and that's gonna have to be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Destroy the dome. Destroy, destroy the dome, destroy the dome. It's gone. Okay, pause. <laughs> Everybody's homeless. Now, hopefully I have enough resources to make this happen. But first, I want to demolish this. And honestly, I kind of want to stop this squiggle that's here. But yeah, we'll leave it. I mean, if I don't squiggle it here, then it's going to have to squiggle here. But I don't think it matters. But I'm going to do it anyway. Take this and make it go here. It's going to squiggle kind of, but whatever. Okay. I want the dome now to be here. Yes, this. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's exactly what I wanted. It's like getting a Christmas present right there. And then we get to infrastructure and we hook it up. Um, now there's entrances on all four sides, so it's not backwards or anything. Um, we're just going to go like that. I imagine that this thing is going to consume a ton of resources uh, and everyone's homeless. Wah, wah, oh my gosh, I have no place to live. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen to us? Well, you have a new place to live. It's going to be this massive structure that veers off into four other big structures like this. This is what I was seeing in the pictures. And I'm like, you know what? I got to figure out how to do this. It would be really cool 
if the, this pillar thing existed on its own and I could place it down and connect it with existing domes. Or if there was a way to like, yeah, nest or like chain these pillars together to have domes be connected to each other outside of this. But it's honestly rel relatively painless to just remove these and start over again, right? So it's kind of whatever, I guess. Um, so we're going to have people living. I guess I can put them right back in the place that they're used to. Figure out where that is. It's over here. Yeah. But look how big this is. This is even more space to build, too, because that center part is gone. So the medium dome is a lot bigger than the, the small dome. It is a humongous upgrade. It is more than four times larger, which is crazy and awesome at the same time. Um, and we're going to put housing on the outside like we did before. And we'll do about like that. And then we just need clothing. Uh, we have the trade company office contributing to the commercial and economical activities in the colony. Set up buy and sell thresholds. And the office will automatically take care of all the trading for you. And that happens inside a dome. We can have this be like business sector or something over here on this side. Like right here, we can place that. And then um, I want the clothing. Where is that? Where'd that clothing building go? Not beautification. Trade company. Wait. Wait, is the clothing company, did they get upgraded to it? No, there it is. Clothing shop. And it looks like it's got a radius. Yeah, it's got an area of effect, which is completely fine with me. So we'll have this completely awesome area of effect go like right in the center like this. Okay, we built them. Things are built now, but insulation on everybody. Make sure every house has insulation. Of course, they re retain their, uh, their template, their color templates and stuff are all retained, which is awesome. So... Um, now we just do the insulation too, or sorry, the insulation upgrades on all of them. And then we should be set. So people don't have to be homeless for a super long time, right? They just, uh, just have to put up with me for a little bit. Insulation. There you go. Takes a second to build them, but this is what I was talking about, man. And I am super pumped about this. All right. Now that I've shared the good news with you. Do you want the bad news? I should probably share the bad news with you as well, right? Okay, I'll share the bad news with you now. Remember how I said I wanted to get the expedition house because I want to do expeditions? Yeah? Yeah? And it's actually required research to continue down this, this tree. You remember that? Expedition house? Yeah? Well, guess what? Come over to production buildings. Is it furniture factory decoration? No, it's... uh, forget where it is. It's, it's over here somewhere. Public buildings. Expedition house. Look what it says. Look at the very bottom red text. So disappointing. Look at that. Not available in current version. No. They're not implemented yet. I get to be left in suspense. This pipe is busted. We repair it for 200, 200 gold and we're done. 200 credits, whatever, and we're done. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so the good news is, look at it. Bad news is, we're not going to be doing any expeditions uh, this uh, particular, at least not until it's implemented, which, I mean, I don't know when that's going to be, but um, we will wait patiently. We will wait patiently. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to insulate every house because I don't have enough resources to do so. But I think it'll be okay. Um, I spent the resources here. Buy low, sell high. You hear that, Wall Street bets? That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> um, so it looks like we have a trade company and it's going to be kind of automated, but I don't really see. Oh, okay, we can set them. So we have four slots and we can choose what we want. So let's say we get a lot of plastic. Let's say the target. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, these are backwards, I think. The plus is on the left and the negatives on the right. When's the last time we saw that have it be a thing? Can I type here? Can I please? Oh, I can. Good. Okay. Let's say the target's 500. Okay. So import or export until target quantity reached. So this is going to have us basically be importing to 500. 
I don't really want to do that. I would rather import export. Yes. So we'll do export only. So we'll, we'll make plastic. If we get to 500 and we're just sitting there with 500, then export it and give me money. Okay. Um, batteries, we do the same thing. Uh, I want the target amount of batteries to be, let's say 500. Right. And we'll do the same thing. If you reach that amount, because we're, we're overproducing these two, I realize it says we have only 16 right now. But um, if I don't build big things, then we overproduce plastic uh, by a lot. So, and then batteries, we overproduce batteries by a lot too, if I stop using them. Although we're getting more drones now, it's 30 drones and we're not overproducing them by that much anymore. But still this building will help me in managing those resources. Sponges, um, I think we could probably do that with sponges. We have a lot and I think I'm just gonna do export on a thousand. Um, let's maybe, maybe say 800. No, eight, 800. We'll auto sell the sponges. And then I guess the final thing to auto sell would probably be clothes. And we can say we want to auto sell clothes if we get over, let's say 200 of them. Okay, good. So that's going to take care of everything for us. And it's all managed by this gigantic dome instead, which is fantastic. It looks so good. All right, uh, insulation, and I think that's it for what I need. No, this one needs insulation one as well. Um, the reason why I can't do it is just because of plastic. If I don't have enough plastic, I can't do it. But I have to wait for the plastic to be produced. That's the only reason we're, we're down in plastic, to be honest. Uh, there. Oh, there we go. Uh, new people have arrived. Leia, send them in. Let there be people. Yes, let there be people. Okay, insulation, good and good. Now, does the dome itself have any upgrades? It does not, but it's getting us money. <laughs> and the more residents we get, the more money we'll get. Okay, so everything looks good here. Uh, you actually have some stuff I could do here with plastic. Want to optimize you and production boost and all that stuff. Because um, like, we have 148 clothes and that's cool and all, but eh, I think we can do better. I know we can do better. All right, let's go back down to surface level really quick. So I've recolored the depots, depot, whatever, the depots. <laughs> I've recolored the depots to be this lime, bright lime green, gaudy color. And so like if I zoom out, in addition to these little icons, um, I just feel like, you know, we can tell exactly where they are because they're the big bright green things. So if we get a whole bunch of icons, like these ones are if I end up getting any more I all I have to do is look for the really bright green things and I can tell where these things are it doesn't really matter I'm just changing things up because I can um so um the rest of this stuff requires tools oh iron would be something wouldn't it probably gonna overproduce iron you know what I think probably gonna overproduce iron more than probably clothes so why don't we change clothes to iron and we'll say that our max iron is like, I think probably let's, let's go like 800 here on this. And we'll say that we will auto sell the iron. Cause I have a feeling we're going to be auto. I have a feeling we're going to, um, produce more iron than we need. Um, however, we don't have any tools, so we need to make tools. So let's go into production buildings and we can go to the tool factory. This is going to consume credits. Not gonna be a problem anymore. Plastic, 80 plastic is gonna be consumed here. Yikes. That's a big consumption. 60 iron and 60 fuel. We have more than enough on those other ones. So um, we're gonna need to produce probably more plastic than we are. Um, the entrance is uh, now facing this way, which is a pretty good thing, but I'm gonna face it this way just because I can. I also kind of wish I could mirror these. I uh, mean, I feel like I'm a little bit spoiled with captive industry and being able to flip things now, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. Uh, we'll just do it, uh, let's say right here, like that. And then we hook this up to the system, like so. And just like that, it will now receive all the resources it needs, um, but we're not producing enough of it. Now, thankfully for plastic, we just have to have enough fuel and sponges. We're producing quite a bit sponges. I know it says we're using them now, but I feel like we're at that 90, that 93 we used, 87 of that is a trade. Like, I think it's actually counting the, 
the the trade out as a as a use. Um, so I, I I don't think we're actually using that many. But um, that being said, there's plenty of places we can get more sponges. So I can always get more if I need them. What I really need though, I think, is to get the plastics factory to be boosted. So that needs tools. And then this one over here, uh, it's this one and this one, they both need this production boost, which boosts their production by 70% and 80% respectively. Why is it, why is that different? 70% and 80%. They're both production three. Unless it's research. Did we do something with research before? That made that happen? Uh, let's do the Sea Hunters combo, actually. This Trident combo just... It makes the Fisherman Hut better because it's next to the the sharks. Uh, the Shark Hunters. Uh, see, this shouldn't have affected plastic. This doesn't affect plastic. And... This doesn't affect plastic. This doesn't either. So I wonder what gives. I should probably make people more comfortable, more satisfied if possible. I wonder if they'll have babies more. Like if we're gonna have our population grow faster. We have 12 adults now, but yeah. One thing I do wish would happen in this game a bit more. You can kind of hear it, but not really, right? I kind of want the sound effects to be louder. Now, I know some of you might think the music's too loud. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to put it in editing and try to make everything, you know, balanced with my voice and everything like I normally do. Um, but I just want to show you what I have the settings at so you can see music volume is down to 65% and I can bring it down to like 35, 40%. And you'll see, you'll hear it like that. But I, I still kind of wish that there was more sounds in the game. Like, I wish there was more atmosphere, more like, 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 not as, like, honestly like that, but you know, like, like watery sounds. And I could hear motors and engines from all these little drones going, right. And maybe these little steps I could hear, like, I don't know, choo, 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 choo or something. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I just wish if I got zoomed all the way in, I mean, they're there. They're they're in there. They're just not very loud. So I I, I think I, I if I was I, I'd turn them up. I that would be my that would be my official uh, critique. I would be turning that stuff up because I I want to hear that. I want to get immersed. All right. I gotta get immersed. Anyway, tools are um are up and running. Looks like. And I think at this point, we're probably going to struggle to get the plastics out on time. But uh, we're at least making tools. And if, if it gets really bad, I'll just go ahead and shut this off. I, I have to stop building things, of course. I sucked away a lot of my plastics by doing all this. Uh, it's totally worth it. Um, I think the installation is done on all these buildings. I think I didn't miss any. Yeah. We have two empty houses anyway, so that's good. And then I want to get a production boost on the clothes. No, I want to get optimizations done on the clothes. That way it doesn't take as many plastic to uh, to do them. And these are probably all fine. Looks like sponges are at eight, 785, right? So we did sell some. I think we're... I think we're selling our access. I think that's why that's like that. But if I really wanted to pin it to 800, I could put that as a buy sell thing. Um, I do have a thousand, um, thousand on money now. So, uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, tool factory in proximity of an iron mine gets a 10% production bonus in proximity. I don't know if that's close enough, right? I don't know what in proximity means, you know? Like I, got, I, I know the literal definition, but like, I don't know how close you have to be to be in proximity. And it would be nice if there was maybe some sort of indication to that before I place it, even before I got that research. But I, I suppose that would probably give it away. 
I just don't see any way of being able to tell what in proximity means here. Uh, so we, we've got that. And then if I switch to an iron mine, yeah, there's no visual indicator on what that is. So I'll tell you what, I can get the research. We see if we get this bonus. Efficiency is at 100%. So if I get this research and it gives it to me, then I, that, that tells me that this is close enough. And if it isn't close enough, then I can tear this down and move it over here because it's totally easy to do that. But I can get an efficiency bonus. It doesn't matter that this is close to the plastic producers. All that matters is that it's close to one of these storages that's going to hold plastic. And um, this has plastic in it. It's holding plastic in it. So I don't need it to be here. I can move it over here and it would be just fine. So I'm going to wait to see if it gets the adjacency bonus anyway, or proximity bonus, I guess it's called. We're going to wait to see if it gets that. If it does, then I'll hit the production boost. If it doesn't, I'll tear it down and build it right here. And then um, we can see if it gets it. And then we can start investing in it because I lose all the upgrades if I move it. Um, so like all these, all the installation bonuses, all that, all the resources I put into these buildings before I, I lost all that stuff. Right. Um, insulation two, is that going to pay itself off? We don't need it yet, but if we start getting low on fuel, I'll start hitting this and then, um, the fuel upkeep will go down on those and it'll be fine. Um, yeah. So let's just, uh, wait for the research. Zip time ahead here done and uh then we'll go ahead and maybe get the clinic or small statue i you know honestly let's go ahead and get this let's get the freaking deco banner deco banner so i can at least get the decorations going because that might help us with population if 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 that's the reason my population grows slowly then you know my bad um i don't know if it's actually going to take it's actually going to do anything so i don't see the efficiency really being affected here I don't see that really doing anything. It still says 100%. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and tear it down. And then we'll build it over here instead. And this has got to work. Like that's got to be in proximity, right? So we'll say that this building goes uh, yeah, like right here. Like it's right next to it. Right. We'll build it here instead. Let's get this to be a big priority. And then the pipe will just connect like, um, yeah, like that's fine. So now it should be close enough to this storage and it should just work. And hopefully I see a efficiency bonus, a production bonus on that, you know, waiting for worker to build. Yep. Is it you? It is you. Get in there and make it so. I like watching them build. It's very Subnautica-like, in a way. Uh, except it's happening really slowly. Like, if you took the Subnautica animation on how it builds things, even the color scheme is pretty similar. But if you if you just took that and uh, slow it down, then that's about what it would be, right? Okay. Production plus 10%. We can visually see that it is getting a boost in its current location. So I can go ahead and boost the production there. And now it should be plus 30% instead of 20. So that is going to be a better location for my tools than what this was over here. Uh, good. Okay. Now, I just researched furniture factory. So we can maybe start building that too. That takes plastic, fuel, and credits as well. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen there. So I need to do something, I think, about my plastic production, and which means I need another one. Is it possible to clear this out and flatten this? Can I have all of this flattened? Negative. So I'm going to have to build around it. Um, I can put another plastic right here. I guess that's one way to build around it. We just place the plastic factory right here. It does fit here. Kind of fits here snugly, actually. Um, I worry it's going to block travel through here. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so. Probably fine. Yeah, we'll we'll just put it like this. We'll put that there instead. No, more plastic. We have more than enough fuel to accommodate this, so no big deal. And then we'll just go ahead and hit like so. And so once that's built, we can then start getting uh, even more plastic created. 
because we have tons of fuel, man. It's all optimized and ready to rock. And this isn't even production boost two yet. We don't even, we haven't even production boosted these. Um, these ones need their two. I've already done one, but we need two for these and I can do it, but I have more oil than I need. So it doesn't matter yet. So if I upgrade the production on these and they start sucking down more resources, I can maybe even, uh, expansion can expand that work slot there i guess now there's even more fuel so we have more than enough fuel is what i'm saying so this building can run we can optimize and boost it up and have even more plastic going so there we go now we only have 24 crude oil max our 24 crude oil crude oil over uh we have more fuel to do even more plastic if we need to now so uh, i'm feeling pretty good about it it does take sponges and if we start seeing sponges is decreasing now so let's talk about sponges we got the sponge collector here it's all fully boosted so let's go ahead and get sponge collection and we know we can upgrade the radius on these and it looks like this spot's not bad but my problem is that this is also where my oil is going to have to be expanded um so i think maybe actually right here would be better I think right here is better. I'm not gonna be able to build a field here. So maybe we'll do sponges like right here. We can gather more there. And then possibly over in this area, I thought was a good, was an okay area. And maybe it was over here. I forget, it's, this is really far away. So it's not the best. Um, I don't wanna be super far away. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a super bad deal to be here. You can see the work efficiency is greater than 100%. So you really only need a few of these to, to be 100%. Um, but you know, if, if you can place a building and have it be really really good, then why not? You know, 87%, 100%. Yeah. So I'm thinking I might be able to get away with it being over here. It's somewhat closer. It's not really interfering with oil because oil is right here. That doesn't really interfere with oil and it gives me 122 percent which is kind of wild i'm gonna put another sponge guy right here we should be able to generate a lot more sponges with that and since we'll be generating more sponges and we have capacity i say plastic factory again since we have the fuel to support it you can place this right next to this area I'm not allowed to build in. Like so. And then we can just get that hooked up to the existing infrastructure. Uh, it's probably cleaner to go in through here. No? Oh, I can't. It's yellow there. So I have to go around this way. No big deal. Hook it up like that. Uh, looks like I went a little bit too far here. There we go. All right, pipeline is leaking. Where's my leaky pipeline? No, it's not 200 credits, it's two credits. All right, new idea. Um, research that automatically fixes leaks, um, which of course would make it redundant. So then I will uh, upgrade that by saying either make the leaks more consequential or just get rid of them entirely because they're really nothing nothing to worry about at all yeah, yeah um if i was gonna go back and do this over again i might have considered having plastics be a little bit i don't know like i guess it doesn't really need to be closer together or anything um i think this storage is gonna get very full 110 here it has eleven and a half thousand capacity, so uh, I'm not used to seeing thousand represented with a dot, right? This is more of an international way of doing it. There's like other countries doing it this way. I'm used to seeing it with a comma, uh, and then in the mouse overs, it doesn't have a comma or anything. So uh, it it's always throws me off when I see the capacity is two point two, but it's 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 really thousand. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. If you're ever wondering why things say two point something, it's kind of an international thing. They, they do that abroad. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and place one of these right here. I really can't fit anything else in here. So another depot with storage is probably fine in this area. And now we should have 
it's more than enough on this boost like we'll just optimize everything and max it out and done but now it's just making a ton of plastic all the time and that's just really good so we should not we should not want for plastic anymore after this thing really gets gets ramped up and going everything should be freaking awesome now and then i can eventually upgrade this once i get plastic it's just going to take a second more drones honestly would be amazing because a lot of the drones are working in buildings and you know if there's no drones available for work that's a sign that I don't have a whole lot of carriers, right? It's most like a lot of other games where you don't have any spare citizens and therefore you don't have any carriers. I feel like that's kind of what's happening to me here. I don't have a whole lot of drones to just go around and do busy work. Um, there's also these little submarines, right, that come by and they tend to move resources, but like this one right here. But in my experience, they really only move resources that are coming from the surface. I don't know if that's, if that's actually what's happening here or not, but like, see, they're gonna drop stuff off inside here. And I have no idea what that stuff is. Like, there's no way to tell what that is. It's just, it's just doing it. And I wish there was a way to do that, but I can't click this submarine and see what it's hauling. But there are two of them now. Okay, so it seems to me that I'm wrong. <laughs> Go figure. It's pulling resources out of the storage, it seems, and then bringing it over to where? Yes, more people. Uh, also, I would recommend in the game, if you're not going to allow me to decline the people, then don't bother stopping my entire gameplay and giving me this full screen alert. Um, if my only option is to accept them, then just whip it over here and say, two new colonists arrived. Because otherwise, like, I can't do anything about it anyway, right? No, there's no difference. So um, we'll go ahead and do battery optimizations and stuff there. Produce medicine. Start producing medicine. Build a clinic to supply your citizens with medicines. Okay. So I should have just done that research, I think. Uh, furniture factory is done. So it's clinic here. We'll get the clinic research started. Um, I want to make sure that we're really good on plastic and metal and tools. All these things before I get going on furniture. And I think furniture is going to end up going right here, actually. This little, this little gap here is going to end up being furniture, which is really close to every all the materials that it needs, you know? In hindsight, maybe I should have built these right next to each other, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Tier 1 food variety. Diverse food sources equals healthier residents. Produce or trade more various edible resources. Okay, I tell you what. We have a lot of money, so why don't I just get you to stop? Ooh, the sharks are getting eaten up. That's what it is. We're out of shark they are go produce more sharks yes produce more sharks go 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 can you do it produce more okay go go produce more um but i might need more on the, the sharks too so why don't we uh food production sea hunters lodge i can put another one right where that old uh right where the old domes and stuff used to be right Put it right there so we'll say here is fine more more shark people or shark hunters wait is this the right side uh the door is there oh the door is there i, I want this to be well that's fine isn't it they're on this side yeah we'll, we'll change it let's let's change this we'll have the door be kind of where this other one is. Here where that door is. Yeah, right here. I'll have the door be like this instead. So it's like it's coming in right next to this. That's fine. So we'll get more shark. And they can stop belly aching about it. Um, do we need a building on the outside of the dome for medicine or the inside of the dome for medicine? It's a clinic. So I assume the clinic makes it build a basic medical center. I assume that's how it goes. Um, we can go with immigration incentive enables us to apply liberal immigration, immigration policies, increasing the newcomer rate by 20%. That's cool. I need shrines before I can do that. 
we'll grab shrines and then we're gonna build I need to build a lot of stuff so I, I need to kind of hold off on research because I'm gonna run out of money if I keep doing that um, but I need to produce medicine so inside the dome we could do a clinic I feel like it's fitting to have the clinic be kind of in the residential area it's kind of a big building but it makes sense that it would be in here I fear that if I do it here though I won't be able to do any basically anything else here right so why don't we actually change that up and go over here with it it's not that far away you guys can walk <laughs> then it can go over there okay we'll get insulation two to help with uh fuel because we're gonna probably use more in a second and then uh let's put in one more house over here just to kind of finalize that okay uh so furniture factory i'm gonna take a look at this i know i just said i have to stop building things but um plastic 70 god everything takes plastic man we've got to make more everything's fully upgraded right not the optimization i can actually expand here too i should do that as soon as i have 30 i should do this because expansion allows it just doubles the workload of this building. Two people can work here now. So as soon as I get enough plastic in storage, we're just using so much of it. Everything is used a lot here. Expansion. Should be able to produce a lot more now with that. And uh, research is completed now for that as well. So yeah, we, we're building the clinic. We've got shrines. We've got the decoration stuff. Let's take a look at the decoration stuff. So... I take a look at beautification decoration banner okay so I could just like something I can put right in front of the door so they walk in and they see it you can't miss it you know you're in the right dome there you go small statue Ooh, maybe that's what we should put in here instead maybe we do both I mean maybe we do the small medium large statue oh yeah right in the center like this oh and you can see it affects it's got an area of effect too so if i place this in the center oh boy okay that's fine large statue in the center um we could do medium statue maybe we'll put that kind of over here like a welcome to the more commercial area kind of thing right and it looks like the circle, if I want the circle to line up with the door, I have to put it like right here. This means people can't walk past it on this side. That's a, that's a bad, that's a bad building practices. I would want them to be able to walk all the way around it. Yeah. So I guess whatever it goes here. And if you don't like it, then whatever <laughs> it goes there and that'll maybe beautify that place a little bit too. A uh, small statue can still go, I guess, right in the front door. Fine. Right on the front door, yeah. And then this little banner, I don't know where to put this. I'd ideally put it right in here, but I can't. So, well, maybe we'll maybe we'll have this mark a new a new zone where they're going to be and then as we expand, we'll, you know, these guys will have the the holographic banner, the hologram banner. Oh, look at this. A large park. Oh, what? This is a park? Can't possibly be a park. What's the small park? Okay, I don't know what I'm seeing here, but maybe these aren't implemented yet. I mean, they are question marks, so it's possible they're not implemented yet. Uh, fashion house, jewelry stores shopping centers coming to you man here's my clinic which is i already put over here so the clinic needs what it is required missing seaweed really more seaweed all right let's do an optimization a couple of times to have maybe less seaweed necessity do we'll be really optimized with this so that we don't need a lot of that and then um We'll do a little production boost, but the upkeep is 50% lower now. So 
Um, we just need, need more need more seaweed though. That's surprising. Okay. Well, uh, we're really good on sea cucumbers, to be honest. So why don't we add seaweed to your plan, and then you know you can just uh, maybe alternate between these two things. But we have more fertile land right here that we're really not doing a whole lot with. So I think we'll take the uh, underwater field again. And we'll just kind of line it up with, with this. And we'll say, like, maybe, I don't know, here. Something like that. Need 43 plastic. And I just let it run, and you can just add the plastic while I drag. Does that not happen? Tier 1 variety. I know. I know we're getting apparently people just really need me to you know do more <laughs> imagine that we just really need you to do more if you could just kindly you know if you could do more for food that'd be great well i guess i had to just buy it i mean we don't have any sea snails uh what do we have sea cucumbers and that's it everybody's just eating sea cucumbers I mean, we have sharks. No, we have no sharks. We have no small fish. Everyone is just eating sea cucumbers right now. Okay. <laughs> we clearly need more fishing. Uh, let's let's boost this up. We need more fishing. Absolutely. Uh, Fisherman's hub. You're going to go right next to this thing. You can go right there. We can have more fishing. And then you're missing a pipeline network. That's that's a problem. We'll fix it. Done. Missing oxygen. Oxygen? Uh, where is that even being made? I forget where I'm making oxygen. It's been so long since I started on making... Oh, it's right here. Uh, production boost. That should be good to go now. And as we get more, as we get more uh, problems, we'll look to or add more infrastructure that takes oxygen. And we'll also we can optimize it, yeah. And then we'll boost it again. Now we're producing more oxygen than we need. So this game's gonna start getting us on our toes. It's gonna start keeping me on my toes. In the beginning, it's, it seems like it's fairly easy. It's not a whole lot to do, all that stuff, right? Like you just kind of build up. But now in the mid game where people start being picky, right? And they want more variety of stuff and their happiness begins to drop because you're not providing what they need and you need to be able to make medicine. This is the time where things start to get just a little bit, you know, just a little bit more challenging. Where I'm going with that. Radius boost, production boost. We need more sponges. We're running out of sponges. That's a bad thing. We don't want to run out of sponges. But let's make sure we're we're hammering away on the sponges. We, we need that. Uh, where's the rest? Over here. We need to get this stuff too. Um, we should probably start selling stone. Probably. Gather resources here and here. And then where did my other, where's my other sponge right here? You. Yep, I need you to produce, I need you guys to make more and more sponges. Everybody make more. Get going with that. So I, I think I'm gonna put the furniture factory here and yeah, depending on whether or not we're producing enough plastic, if we're not producing enough plastic, I may need to use this for plastic as well. Um, we also don't seem to be producing enough drones. I can boost production on that, uh, in this one anyway. And uh, maybe do it here once we get a little bit more plastic. And then possibly we get enough drones from that. But I, I think I may need to have at least two more drone producers here too, potentially. I need to look at that. So this is Aquatico. Uh, mid game, 
I feel. Maybe it's not, but I feel like it's mid-game now. And, uh, and I, obviously, there's some things I could be doing more efficiently. There's some maybe some things I'm, I'm missing. You know, this just comes with being blind in a game, right? Um, if you have any ideas, I suppose you probably are already leaving them for me. But if you have any more ideas, um, feel free to leave them for me in the comments. And um, maybe we'll look at them and see what we can... Uh, See what we can do to improve the colony the way it is. Yeah? Um, we have currently a surplus of 113 electricity, so that's not going to be a problem. We're making way more fuel than we're needing. That's not going to be a problem. And in fact, because we're making so much fuel, what I could potentially do is shut one of them down. Nope, guess I can't. I thought I could, but I can't. Uh, producing 252. Each one is producing over 230 fuel at least. So, um, nope, can't shut any of them down. But... You know, if we find ourselves with a surplus of something, I could hopefully alleviate some of the stress by just uh, shutting some of them down if I don't need more of that resource, right? Um, but I don't think we're producing too many of anything. Um, 539 buckaroonies credits, whatever you want to call it. This is going to start getting to be a problem because research is getting expensive. Um, we're up to now 300 for each one. And if you keep going to the end of the tree, I mean, look at this. Just every research is going to cost you 700, 800, 900, over 1,000, 1,300. Some of these, 2,000 for this one, right? So it gets more expensive. And so you, you kind of have to find ways to make more credits. Uh, otherwise, it's not great. Um, this... This is interesting. Union's deal allows resourceful syndication of our active workers, resulting in their voluntary 10% decrease in salaries. Imagine a union negotiating voluntarily for a 10% decrease in salaries for their members. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Engineer income tax, we could probably do that too. Uh, that would be something that we could get. So I'll, I'll do that now too and try to get some more money on that. We're running really low on cash. So low on cash, pretty good on food. We're back to being satisfactory with it. The extra fish coming in, sharks and stuff, that extra fish is gonna help out a lot. Um, I think the seaweed issue is solved by essentially just, you know, when we collect this, that would be good. And then also this can start, I think, doing it as part of its schedule. I think it'll produce, yes, 246 uh, seaweed per year because it's now at seaweed and then sea cucumber, it'll alternate back and forth between these two things. So I think that will probably solve our medicine problem. We still have 70 in storage anyway. And then um, basic goods, the clothes. We're starting to see a decrease in clothing. So we can pr production boost that as well, just to kind of bump that back up. And uh, look at these, these statues. They kind of look the same, don't they? This is the large one. This is the uh, the medium one. And then that's the small one. <laughs> They're exactly the same. And then there's this thing, which is not the same. So uh, I, there's, there's, there's stuff that needs to be put in, right? Obviously, it's, it's not done yet. I imagine if I put a park in here, it would probably look the same as that too, but... Uh, so I might tear these down and put extra buildings in here or something, but we'll see. Like restaurants, a, a restaurant here would be, probably be a good idea. You know, that kind of thing. But in any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Aquatico with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.